Jamie Malarkey, thanks for your time on Fox Sports, mate. Rocking the, the hooligan shirt. Is that your own apparel? Yeah, mate. Nah, not my own apparel, but uh, Stash House Clothing make a, a hooligan range, so ah. fits nice. Nice. Are you officially the hooligan? Like, have you, like, put that in? Is, is that your nickname? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it's the hooligan. I don't know if they announced me as the hooligan, but... Okay. Yeah. Gotta get on top of that. Like I gotta do it. Yeah, yeah, I might have to have a word. Yeah, have a word yeah. with Bruce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, call Bruce up. Mate, it's uh, been a long time uh, since we've seen you. Obviously, a bit of an injury layup. Admittedly, I wasn't expecting you to be back so early. I mean, was this always the plan for you to be ready for Perth, or was this kind of a last minute thing? Yeah, no, the plan was to. Well, I, I got injured from my October fight in Abu Dhabi, and then um, going off my recovery, it was going to be like a nine to 12 week recovery so mm. <laughs> february was uh in my in my eyesight to uh get ready for that yeah right well the people of central coast the people of new south wales and australia have been awaiting your comeback quite eagerly i mean do you have a message for all the people on the coast who stood by you through the injury layoff and, and all the people who supported you during that time yeah man i just appreciate the support and um the uh, i feel the love from ev everyone and uh I'm, I'm bringing that right into the cage in, in perth this weekend now, you obviously train out of the Central Coast, but you spent a bit of time with Alex Volkanovski on the South Coast, yep. right? Did you lose a tooth while wrestling with him? <laughs> Funny thing, this is a fake tooth. Right, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. So okay. it pulls, pulls in and out. And <laughs> I freaked he, out when I saw it. Dude. Yeah, yeah, no, as he, as he took me down in one of the, one of the film clips, I, I saw that actually, my mate pointed it out to yeah. me, uh, the tooth <laughs> went flying out. <laughs> now, you're arguably one of the most entertaining uh, young Aussie prospects here. So 15 wins, only two decisions. Uh, do you pride yourself on being the guy who brings the fireworks on that entertainment factor? Yeah, 100%, man. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I like the fact that win, lose, or draw, I'm never in a boring fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, like, I, I think everyone knows that by now, that um, every time I come, I come to fight. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna be uh, either even if I don't get my hand raised, it's, it's, you're gonna see something. So that's a it's an 86 percent finish rate. So 86 percent is good, but your opponent Francisco Prado yes. is one of the most exciting prospects from Latin America. So get this: 20 years old, 11 and 0, 100 percent finish rate. Mm. And eight of those stoppages have come in the first round. Now this is gonna be chaos. Someone is going to sleep in this fight. How does that make you feel heading into it? Man, it's it's exciting. Like these are the fights that I like. Mm. I, I I like the guys that come at me because nine times out of ten they usually run into something pretty big and uh, stops them in their tracks. So that's what we're looking to do. How do you get over that fear, right? Because it's quite a primal, intrinsic thing. Like, okay, I'm going into this fight. How do you, how do you overcome that? Um, I I don't think it's a thick matter of overcoming. I think it's a, a matter of just being okay with it. Right. And I'm okay with it when I when I'm standing in front of someone that. We're trying to hurt each other. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm familiar with it. Mm. Yeah. When did you become familiar with it? When did you become comfortable with it? Because obviously you played footy when you were a bit younger. Yeah, but yeah. like, I mean, making the transition. Yeah, probably, uh, I don't know. I, I couldn't really tell you when, but just as the fights have gone on, um, it's a very familiar feeling and it's something I'm good at. So uh, I just, I just go with it. Now you've got more experience than Francisco, but He's got six submissions on his record. We mentioned you training with Alexander Volkanovsky. Yeah. Uh, you were wrestling in that clip. How much has grappling been a focus for you for, in this camp? Um, we've been focusing on everything in this camp, um, but obviously it has been a focus, and that's the best thing about training with them guys, man. They, they really strengthen my weaknesses. Mm. Um, not that grappling's ever been a weakness of mine, but it's it's needed a bit of improvement and i've got just that with with the guys down at freestyle they've been unreal putting yeah. me in um all kinds of nasty positions <laughs> how important is it to you to be fighting in front of this aussie crowd the ufc's big return down under and it's a massive pay-per-view oh mate it's just it's it's gonna be the best night ever it, it'll be it'll be unreal man it's a big big occasion a uh, long time coming too so yeah. I'm looking forward to it. In the main event, our mate Alex Volkanovsky against Islam Makhachev. Yes. The biggest fight of his career, the biggest challenge of his career. How do you see it playing out? Yeah, I think it's going to be a good fight. Uh, I, I see Alex getting it done. Um, either, either a decision or a late stoppage. Yeah, gotcha. By yeah. knockout? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I, I think he... I, I don't see him submitting his arm, but I could see him... Hey, he good. But I, I see him, uh, him K.O. on him, for sure. Jamie Malarkey, so good to see you back, mate. Really appreciate the time. Can't wait to see you there. Thanks, Nico. Appreciate it, man. My man.